Welcome back. It's been windy the last week in the valley, blowing dust and dirt. But as winds increase, what about our chances of contracting valley fever? It does live in the dirt, after all. A post on social media was urging people to be vigilant about it. 12 News journalist Jade Cunningham takes a closer look at the post and verifies its claims. Maricopa County accounts for half of all valley fever infections in the United States. It's a fungal infection spread by breathing in particular spores typically found in dirt. So is there a concern as winds pick up? A Facebook post shared more than a thousand times on social media claims in part that dry winds will bring up the virus beneath you. So let's verify, are we at an increased risk of valley fever over the next few days? Our sources include the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, Dr. David Engelthaler with Translational Genomics Research Institute, and John Galgiani. He's a professor of medicine at the University of Arizona's College of Medicine and the director of the Valley Fever Center of Excellence. He's been studying this particular fungal infection for about 50 years. An infection that occurs if the spores get out of the soil where it, it exists and if you inhale one of those spores. The risk of doing that each year is roughly 4%. Galgiani says the fungus that causes valley fever thrives in her hot and dry climate, 2024 seeing the largest number of cases in more than a decade. The highest uh, reported number of cases since 2011. Still, it's underdiagnosed. That's because symptoms mirror those of other illnesses like the flu. So it's not usually tested. It also usually resolves on its own, though infections can turn severe in those with weakened immune systems. You know, the more we know what our risks are and the more we do about it, the better off we are. Galgiani says living in the valley, everyone is at risk at all times of the year. Anyone can get it and frankly, I really don't know of a way to avoid it. But on windy days or during dust storms, the chances of breathing in infected spores doesn't change. It is true that dry conditions are a time when disease activity is higher. There's no compelling evidence. There's, there's discussions about this. But the overall opinion is that windy conditions are, don't really add very much to that risk. You would think that Generating a lot of dust would increase your risk, and that's true if the fungus is in that dirt. But the overwhelming acreage doesn't actually have colonies of the fungus in it. Dr. David Engelthaler spoke with 12 News in 2023 about the myths with valley fever spread. It doesn't seem like those dust storms are really driving the fungus uh, to get into the air for people to breathe. What that means is that the fungus is not just on the top surfaces of the soil. It is likely that the fungus is mostly below the soil, has to get disturbed, construction, gardening, digging, gets it up into the air, and then we breathe it in. Medical articles showing similar findings, one even stating a three-day study in Phoenix, Arizona in 2015, found more spores in the air the day before a major dust storm hit than during or after it. So while valley fever is something people should be aware of and know about, we can verify that no, the winds expected does not increase our risk of contracting valley fever. For your verify, Jay Cunningham, 12 News. Thanks, Jade. If you have something you'd like us to verify, send us an email with your idea to verify at 12news.com.